Hi everyone. As we get closer to the launch of the fall term, I'll start sharing regular safety updates again, some by video and some as a memo. It's been an incredibly busy summer and I'd like to thank the many faculty and staff members who've worked hard and smart to help prepare our campuses for return to programming. I hope you've all reviewed our BCIT Go Forward plan, which is posted on the BCIT COVID website. It outlines the policies and procedures for return to campus. We have also posted the approved safety plans for each program for your review. I'd also like to take this opportunity to remind faculty and staff of the requirements to complete the online pandemic exposure course available at the Learning Hub. And if you're a student returning to campus, you're required to complete the student awareness on COVID-19 and pandemic exposure control plan before you join your on-campus program. This is also available at the Learning Hub. Importantly, BCIT recently announced a strong recommendation that all students, faculty, and staff wear a non-medical mask or face covering in common areas on campus. This includes all indoor spaces, including washrooms, classrooms, hallways, and other areas. You can learn more on the BCIT COVID website. Please continue to follow all guidelines to keep yourself and others safe. This includes staying at home if you're feeling unwell. This is critically important for your and others' health, particularly as we move into fall and the traditional flu season. Staying at least two meters or six feet away from others to respect physical distancing guidelines. Washing your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds using soap and water. If soap and water are not available, use hand sanitizer. Dispensers are available throughout the open campus areas. Do not touch your face, eyes, mouth with unwashed hands. When you sneeze or cough, cover your mouth and nose with a disposable tissue or the crease of your elbow and then wash your hands. While physical health is important, it's important that we take care of our mental and emotional health during this challenging time. We'd like to remind the BCIT community that counseling resources are always available. Counseling services for faculty and staff are available 24 by 7 through Homewood Health. Counseling services for students are available through BCIT Student Counseling. Finally, if you have specific questions or concerns about BCIT's COVID-19 prevention practices, please reach out to us by email. Thank you and stay safe.